Discord has become the number one choice when it comes to voice chat programs over thousands of different communities. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own server. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another quick tutorial. You've probably clicked on this video because you're interested in setting up your very own Discord server. Now I will say with this video, we are going to be keeping things pretty basic and pretty straightforward as I plan to release other videos in the near future on how to set things up within the Discord server after you've got it all set up. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now there are two main ways that you can create a server with Discord. First, you can download the Discord uh, software to your computer, which is the preferred method if it's your own machine or if you're running it on a machine that's not yours but you still wanna be able to use Discord, opening up in the browser is going to be your best bet. So we're gonna look at both options today, starting off with the browser. You're gonna to want to open up your browser of choice and navigate to discord.com. Once that page has loaded, you're going to click on where it says open Discord in your browser. Click on that. It's gonna ask you to use a user, uh, enter a username. So we'll just do YouTube demo. And then you're gonna to want to click on the arrow to the right. Once you've done that, it's gonna forward you to a new page, but it's gonna want you to enter your birthday. You may be asking yourself why you have to enter a birthday. That's just because certain countries have age restrictions on uh, being able to access the application or the website. So you're gonna to wanna to type in your birthday. And if you're familiar or un unfamiliar which, uh, how old you need to be, you can click on this blue link. And it says, why do I need to provide my birthday? And it gives you a breakdown of all of the different countries that have the different restrictions. So you may wanna check that out. So for here, we're just gonna punch in a birthday. And once you've got that in there, we're gonna go ahead and click on where it says done. Now, once you've clicked on done, it's gonna ask, create your first Discord server. Your server is where you and your friends hang out. Make sure you're, make it yours and start talking. You can choose a template if you would like, depending on what type of community or what type of, uh, what type of group or server you're trying to create. Or you can click on create my own where it's not gonna give you anything versus the templates are gonna give you some basic channels. So we're gonna go ahead and just choose the gaming template. And then it's going to ask you to create a server name. And at this time, you can also upload an avatar. Now, just keep in mind, no matter what template you chose, you can change that stuff at a later time. So ultimately, it doesn't really matter. It just kind of gives you a foundation to work off of. So again, once you've got this information here, you can left click on where it says create. What that's going to do is it's going to create a server in the background. This is going to come up where it says claim your account keep all your messages and servers even after you close the browser. So after you shut down the browser, if you haven't claimed the account, that they do end up deleting the servers after a certain amount of time. I'm not sure how much time that is, but they do delete it. So we're just gonna go ahead and click outside of this for now. And it's gonna load you to your server. Again, you can see the yellow or the orange banner right here at the top where it says claim account. You can click on that, enter an email and a password, claim the account, that way your server doesn't get deleted. In any case, in here, we're gonna be doing some other in-depth stuff, but you've got your text channels over here where you can type in and send messages right there. You can do clips and highlights. Again, this is the gaming template, so it kind of gives you a basic foundation to work with. And then, of course, you do have the voice channels that you can enter right here as well. So that is how to create a server via the browser. Now let's go ahead and take a look on how to create the server uh, by downloading the actual app. Once again, head on over to discord.com and you're gonna want to click on where it says download for Windows this time. This does all these instructions also do work for Mac. Now you can see that after I've clicked on download for Windows or whatever yours was, it downloaded the application down here. You're gonna want to click and run that file and install the application. Once you've downloaded and installed the Discord app, it's a very quick install. It's gonna bring you to this page. The only kind of difference between the two is you will need to create an account before you can log into the actual application. As before, if you're running it on the browser, you could do that afterwards. So if you have an account, go ahead and punch that in right now. If you don't, you will need to click on where it says needed account, click on where it says register and fill out this required information to click continue before you can get in. So we're gonna go ahead and click on, I already have an account. I'll punch that in real quick. Now, once you've got logged in, you may have this orange banner up here as well that says, please check your email and follow the instructions to verify your account. If you've gotten that email, go ahead and verify your account for it. Otherwise you can click on resend if you haven't. Again, check spam folders, things like that, uh, just to make sure that you're getting that so your, uh, your stuff doesn't get deleted. So. This is basically the homepage of Discord. This is where most of your direct messages are going to be that aren't like server related. So if you have friends and stuff, you can add them here. But over here on the left-hand side where it has the little plus icon, a little exclamation mark, we're actually gonna go ahead and click on that first 
And this is how we're going to create the server from the application. Now you can see it says create a server, same thing that we uh, saw a little bit earlier where it says create your own, or you can use a template. We're just gonna click on create my own this time, and you can kind of see the difference between the two. So click on create my own. Once again, server name, you can upload an avatar, and we're gonna go ahead and click on create. And there you have it, very similar as before. The text channel, you can see that we just have general this time. We don't have the like clips and highlights. And then for voice channels, we just have general and we don't have like gaming lobby. So again, you choosing a template just gives you a foundation. But if you wanted to start from scratch and just create your very own, you can click on create your own server or edit however you want to do it before. But that is just two different ways that you can go in and create a Discord server. And that is all there is to it. If you've reached this point of the video, congratulations, you've officially set up your very first Discord server. As I was saying earlier, we're gonna be doing some other videos that go more in depth on how to set up channels or roles and permissions, etc. So stay tuned for those. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's quick tech tip. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. You got something out of it. And if you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, ring that bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.